Okay. Thank you, Teresa. That was great. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming to our annual recognition event. Today, we are going to celebrate our retirees, faculty and staff award recipients, and those who have hit a milestone in years of service at our great College of Nursing. Every day I witness the hard work each and every one of you put into your career and the dedication you have to the college and nursing profession. It is a true honor to work with such talented individuals on a daily basis. While this year's event looks different, I'm grateful for all of you being flexible and resilient during these challenging times. Thank you for taking the time to attend virtually. It's important for us to come together even when we can't be physically together. Retirement gifts have been mailed to the home of the retirees and award gifts will be made available for pickup at the college. More information about this will come from HR. A couple of retirees could not attend today's event. They are Candice Berdinelli and Jane Cass Wolf. Both of them had made tremendous contributions to the College of Nursing during their tenure, for which we are grateful. I would now like to welcome Kim Paxton to speak on behalf of Barbara Weiss Malone. Thank you, Dean Eli. Dr. Malone, it is with great honor and great pleasure that I was asked to speak on your retirement. But I'm gonna first start with a quote from a student about the significance of your contribution to the College of Nursing, but also how you touch lives in intangible ways that make such a great difference. So this statement is from um, Kelly Joyner, and she writes, what can I say about Dr. Malone? She has always been one of the most approachable individuals. You can rely on her. You can really see her dedication to teaching and connecting to her students. She not only spends the time to teach the content, but to connect that content of what she teaches to the real world. We need this so much, and it's so relevant. She has a knack of always being entertaining, which is very true, especially in her videos on motivational interviewing, which she did with her cat. I missed that one, Barb. You never shared that one. She takes the time to check in with her students, not only for class, to make sure that we are okay for life in general. And that is from Kelly Joyner. For me personally, and from those of us in the AG um, MP program and the FMP program, you are gonna be very sorely missed. The contributions that you made and the mentoring that you gave are literally priceless. Without you taking your personal time to help me, I never would have been able to achieve half of the things that I've achieved. You have a kind heart and you have a caring soul. And those are things that can't be taught. They're who you are intrinsically. You have connections in the community that are innumerable and, and ones that you shared with me to help me be able to connect into that community and have that community trust me. And that again is a priceless gift. Your sense of humor is well known and you provide insights and ways of saying things that connect some very complex pieces through your humor to make them easy to understand but also enjoyable to understand. Sitting in your office and writing on your whiteboard and trying to figure things out and having you orient me um, into this college, I will never forget. You literally took me under your wing. You protected me. But yet you also allowed me to spread those wings and to fly the way I needed to fly when I took on the director role. But even when I did that, you were still there. You still supported me and you still helped me because that's the kind of person that you are. When my husband and I were having a really hard time trying to get a home here in Colorado, you were unbelievably compassionate. Sorry, it brings tears. 
you said to me that if all else failed, you would help me, that you would stand beside me, and that you would make sure that I was okay. It's just who you are. So Barb, you're gonna be missed by all of us and know that you've touched a lot of people's lives in ways you never thought. I love you. Thank you, Kim Paxton. That was awesome. I would now like to welcome Jackie Jones to speak on behalf of Paula Meek. Hi, everyone. Can you see me? Yep. Yep. Sure can. Okay, good, because I, I cannot see myself. <laughs> um, and I can't see you, Paula. So um, it, it's my absolute uh, pleasure. Um, I feel incredibly humbled to be asked to um, speak about you, Paula. I feel um, this is not the first time, and I'm sure it'll never be the last. Um, you retired, you left our college um, at the end of 2019. And so here we are, <laughs> well on the way through 2020 and what a year it's been. We've missed you terribly. Um, but I wanted to start with sharing with people um, 2008, which is when you first came to the college. I think you were here about a month before me. Um, you came to the college as a senior scholar and um, as, a, as a professor. And I think you had aspirations to um, work in the world of scholarship and, and make your contribution further to the field, but that was very short lived. <laughs> it was so short lived because not long after you arrived, Paula, um, the college really saw your brilliance and you became um, the head of the DASH division. And um, you were never able to get away from administrative leadership roles, I don't think the whole time you've been here. Um, you're with the college, I think 11 years is probably the calculation heading into 12. The very first time I met you, you were the first person uh, I met in the college and you were the first person who took me to lunch and um, I think that that first has been a symbol of, of the relationship that I've had with you. Um, you've been an inspirational mentor, an incredible innovative leader and you have guided uh, so many people in our college and certainly my journey. Um, you, you took on the role of division director, you took on the role of chair of APT, you were the chair of FEC, um, and you were the PhD program director amongst many other um, leadership roles in the college. I've shared this before, but um, I feel that recognizing you today uh, on your retirement from our college, um, I, just, I just know you know that you certainly haven't retired from my life um, and I appreciate you so much. I appreciate the warmth that you gave me um, when you first came to the college and over that time, my journey through tenure and progression, but how Sue and yourself um, welcome me as part of your family. So I wanted to say, um, not, not that you will be missed, you are missed. And so many students believe you to be an inspiration. You took the PhD program um, from where it was over the five years or so that you were leading the program into the fantastic place that it is now. And without you, Paula, I would not have been able to take on this PhD program during such an incredibly challenging time of the COVID pandemic. You're an amazing leader, you're inspirational. Um, I also wanted to recognize that you um, were a fantastic colleague and you were such an amazing role model to your own mentor, to Professor Joyce Verin, uh, while you were in the college. And um, seeing how she was your mentor from when you were in your PhD program, to see how she became um, such a colleague and how you were such an inspiration in terms of what it is to be a mentee, but also a mentor. So with that, I want to say we really miss you and um, Thank you so much for your presence in my life and the life at the college. So, um, I'm, I hate goodbyes and I hate to cry, but uh, you get to see it again uh, for some of you. But um, I wanted to come because I just miss you guys. I want you all to know that. 
Um, it's a great group of faculty and staff, and you guys will do wonderful things. So I do miss you. I had hoped to be able to come back to Colorado, but guess what? We're not going anywhere, right? So, but if this ever gets lifted, know that you all, I'd love to see you in Utah. So thank you. And you are always welcome, Paula Meek. We miss thank you. With you. I miss you all. Thank you, Paula. I would now like to welcome Tammy Spencer to speak on behalf of Lely Pedro. Thank you, Eli, and thank you for the privilege and honor to speak about amazing Laylee and her time here at the college. Um, so a few words about Laylee, and I will try to get through it without crying as well, but maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Um, so a few words about Laylee. Um, you know, there are people in our lives that come along and really do make a difference, a big difference in our lives. And they change the way that we look at the world. And if we're lucky, we get to call them colleagues. And if we're really lucky, we get to call them friends. And if we call them both, it doesn't get any better than that. So Laylee is one of those people. Um, Laylee has made an indelible mark on the lives of hundreds of faculty and students during her professional career. Um, her expertise as a scholar in the art and science of teaching and learning have influenced countless nursing students and faculty to grow in limitless ways in their own professional identity. Her gentle wisdom and grace has nurtured many in the caring sciences. And for faculty here at the College of Nursing, I can honestly say that we have learned from Laylee what it means to seek gratitude and humility, to cultivate understanding, to be kind to one another, and to appreciate the meaning of words. Most importantly, Laylee has taught us to listen and to learn and to really appreciate our own unique stories as we interpret the world around us, whether that world is here at the college or planet Earth. Laylee can always be counted on to be a steadfast, calm voice in the midst even of a pandemic. Um, her steadfast ability to put students and faculty in the center of all she does is an inspiration to all of us. Um, her constant positivity is like a light in the fog. Of the many things that I've learned from Laylee over the past um, several years, probably one of the most important came at a new student orientation. And at that time, when Laylee was speaking to the students, she talked about a connection, a, a connection that by no mistake um, brought us all here together. So when Laylee talked to the students, she said, nursing is about connection and connection is about love and love is what has brought us here at this place and at this time to be together. So Laylee reminds us that life is connected and that we're all connected together for a purpose. Through our connection with Laylee, many of us have learned the value of friendship and kindness that comes from the heart. So Laylee, our connection with you will be here long past your time at the college. Laylee, while we know that you are gonna miss the endless faculty meetings, looking at workload documents, filling out reports, all that good stuff, we know you're gonna miss that so much we celebrate this next chapter with you. We wish you endless time to do the things that make you so happy. Things like discovering new places, having unlimited amounts of chocolate, laughter with family and friends, feeling the sand underneath your feet, listening to your favorite music. But most of all, we wish you love, love in whatever you do. So be well, take good care, and happy, happy retirement. Thank you. Thank you, oh. Tammy. Did you want to say? Oh, something? wow. <laughs> Thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's, I, um, it's very full. My heart is very full to just be here for um, 
another Touchstone time with you. Um, it's been a couple months and I've missed you dearly, even the workload documents and the faculty meetings. You know, it comes with, it comes with the territory and so I, I miss you dearly. Um, just thank you for the texture and the imprint all of you have left on my life. Um, it will not be forgotten. It's been integrated into who I am. So I will carry you, each of you individually and collectively um, into whatever is next. And um, you, you, are, you will be missed. And thank you for being a part of my life and um, living in my heart. Um, I do want to encourage the College of Nursing as you move forward. You're on an amazing, amazing threshold of great things. And um, never forget what lives inside of you and all the possibilities that are there. Sometimes it gets cloudy and sometimes we get feedback from others and we get enmeshed in our own stories about what the world and things should be like, but I want you to always remember that you have everything you need inside of you. And so to journey forward always for yourselves and for the College of Nursing, as well as for the noble profession of nursing. It's a, a wonderful time to really have our voices be heard and collectively um, the college is a, um, a bright spot um, towards that end. So I could go on forever, but um, you know where to find me. I will welcome you in my home anytime in Redlands, California. I believe I have that information on my out of office info, but um, do reach out. I will love to stay connected with you and, and watch and hear how you have grown as a college as well as individuals. So be well, I love you dearly, um, and thank you for bringing lots of color and joy and challenge that has allowed me to become the person who I am today. Blessings. Thank you, Laylee Pedro. I would like to welcome Carrie Peterson to speak on behalf of Mary Weber. Carrie? Thank you, Dean Eli. It is truly an honor to be able to speak this afternoon about a woman that I respect and admire so much. Um, Mary Weber is just so incredible. I definitely could not do justice to her amazing 40 plus career um, years in nursing and, and the impact she has made on me both personally and so many others in just only a few minutes, but I wanted to highlight just a few things um, about Mary and her incredible career. Um, certainly Mary is recognized as an expert and a leader in psych mental health nursing and in substance abuse prevention and treatment. And she is a fellow of the American Association of Nurse Practitioners and the Academy of Nursing. And as many of you know, recently she just received the very prestigious Nightingale Award in Advocacy for Non-Traditional Practice. So deserving, Mary. We're so proud of you and definitely can't um, say how excited we were to hear that news. Um, I also, Mary has served on so many committees and panels to advance mental health nursing and address substance use um, disorders and so many grants and publications I couldn't even begin to name something I definitely will strive um, to be more like Mary in my career in so many ways but she has been a pioneer in um, medication assisted treatment services um, Colorado has really become a, a model state for the treatment of opioid um, use disorders she really like the first in the nation to include NPs and PAs and in, in the um, MAT treatment to help countless individuals and really save lives and, and make so many lives better through her work. It's just incredible. Um, she's done work with SBIRT and SAMHSA grants where thousands of nurses and students have been educated in, in the SBIRT model for substance um, 
prevention and interventions and we continue to use that. I just had a course where I, my students were sending me comments about how much they appreciated it, taking her expert course and learning that content from um, Mary Weber, who is just an incredible expert on this on these topics. Mary, of course, we started our Psych NP program here at the college back in 2008. And since then, we've had close to 100 uh, grads, all of which 100% pass rate. And I think that speaks to the incredible program that Mary developed, the curriculum she created, and the mentoring of all the Psych um, NP faculty. Every single one of us, um, Mary, has, has taken under her wing and mentored and and done so much, I know, for all of us and, in, and outside the Psych NP program as well. I know many of you have worked with Mary as colleagues. Mary also has developed several faculty practice clinics and she's really just cared for so many um, marginalized and vulnerable populations and impacted literally thousands of lives. Um, Mary is just such a compassionate, wonderful person. I just can't say enough about her, an amazing leader and mentor. I certainly, in my role as a new specialty director of the Psych MP program, don't think I would have gotten through the past couple years without your support, Mary. Um, your legacy will certainly live on in all the patients and the students and the colleagues and, and people that you have impacted. And we just want you to know that um, we're so thankful and honored to have had the opportunity to work with you and you are so missed even though you are continuing into retirement with uh, not really retiring and working, continuing to work hard and being involved and meant continuing to mentor us, but you are still missed, your presence is, and we love you. Thank you, Carrie Peterson. Mary? Well, Carrie, your words brought me to tears. Oh. So I am uh, kind of like Paula. Those were very, very kind words to say. I'm very grateful for that. I'm very grateful for my time at CU and the opportunities that I've had and all of you wonderful people and uh, that I have worked with and gotten to know over these years and I want to thank everyone for that and Carrie these words are very very special to me and I thank you for for your kindness and um, thank you all and and I do miss everyone even though I am still consulting <laughs> on some level um, and still writing papers with Amy Barton and still having meetings and it sometimes feels like I haven't retired but then COVID reminds me oh yes I have so uh, Anyway, thank you all very, very much. And I miss you all. Thank you, Mary. I wanted to circle back around to see if Barbara Malone was on, if she wanted to say a few words. Uh, I know she was the first one. I don't think she is though. Just wanted to make sure. Thank you everyone for those incredibly special words about our colleagues who are retiring, but will never leave our hearts, as we all said. So thank you all. And even though I've known you for only a short time, you've made a major impression on me as a dean, as a human being, and as your colleague. So thank you so much. And now we are going to present the faculty and staff awards. First, I would like to say that I am really impressed by all the award nominations we have received. It highlights how great and talented our faculty and staff are. Thank you all for taking the time to submit a nomination. Steph? Okay. The Innovation and Practice Award provides annual recognition to acknowledge a faculty member or faculty team demonstrating sustained commitment to the innovation of the practice mission of the CU Nursing. The Innovation in Practice Award goes to Amy Takao. She was nominated by Paul Cook for her numerous grant submissions to improve telehealth services for new mothers. One grant has been accepted and the others are under review. This grant will provide new equipment such as distance communication and remote sensor devices 
to monitor patients' vital signs and will expand telehealth at our nurse-led clinics. It will also generate data about remote patient monitoring and management. Congratulations, Amy. Thank you very much. All right, Amy. The Innovation in Teaching Award provides annual recognition to acknowledge a faculty member or faculty team demonstrating sustained commitment to the teaching mission of the CU Nursing. The Innovation in Teaching Award goes to Angela Powell. She was nominated by Peggy Jenkins for her work incorporating simulation into the graduate nurse practitioner curriculum and constantly going above and beyond her 0.5 FTE. In March, she added more TALIS simulation and consulted with other programs to cover student clinical hours beyond the 500 supervised hours needed for NP certification. She was also one of the first faculty members to bring students back to campus in the summer in order to complete high fidelity simulation course work. Congratulations, Angela Powell. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. The Faculty Luminary Award provides annual recognition to either a faculty or staff member of CU Nursing who takes the time to nurture and invest in CU Nursing employees. The recipient shows consistent exceptional efforts to take other CU Nursing employees under their wing, giving guidance and support for the betterment of a colleague's career. The Faculty Luminary Award goes to Paula Nelson Martin. She was nominated by Paul Cook, Mary Beth Mackick, Regina Fink, and Sean Reed for being an instrumental pioneer in developing our presence as a college in the field of palliative care. She has led the way in developing a nursing-centric palliative care certificate at the college and advancing the cause for better symptom management through nursing practice. Many of her students, many of the students Paula has mentored have gone on to have leadership roles in hospital systems or become our own CU faculty. Congratulations, Paula. Thank you so much. All right. The Junior Scientist Award provides annual recognition to a researcher whose contributions to science early in their research career demonstrates significant potential in the development of a sustained program of research and having significant impact on nursing science and the health of individuals, families, populations, or health policy and is consistent with the mission of CU Nursing. The Junior Scientist Award goes to Claudia Amura. She was nominated by Paul Cook for her contributions to ongoing research projects. She has received three new funding awards as PI. Two of them are contracts to perform needs assessment surveys related to the COVID-19 pandemic, generating urgently needed data about the effects of the rapidly changing healthcare environment on primary care clinicians. She is also committed to mentoring students. Her teaching and mentoring activities go beyond the APT requirements for a faculty member in the research IRC track. Congratulations, Claudia. Thank you so much. The Senior Scientist Award provides annual recognition to a researcher who has achieved significant and sustained national and or international recognition for their work and whose research has impacted the health of individuals families, populations, and is consistent with the mission of CU Nursing. The Senior Scientist Award goes to Kathy Jankowski. Jackie was nominated by Paul Cook because of her notable work in the areas of skeletal muscle research and associated symptoms, such as fatigue. 
She has been an investigator or co-investigator on grants to CU totaling more than $10 million. She is also a faculty lead for CU's Nursing BS Honors Program and leads the Biobehavioral Faculty Research Group. Her research has influenced treatment development for osteoporosis and has contributed to the knowledge about the effects of exercise on skeletal muscle and bone. Congratulations, Kathy. Thank all you right. very much. Good to see you all. The Rising Star Faculty Award provides annual recognition for any faculty member who demonstrates significant promise in the beginning two to five years of employment with CU Nursing of their academic career and exhibits outstanding contributions towards the mission of the College of Nursing. The Rising Star Faculty Award goes to Denise Smith. Denise Smith was nominated by Priscilla Nodine because she has been a star within the college and Colorado midwifery community since she was hired. She works extremely hard to complete her goals while advocating for others and helping the College of Nursing succeed in its mission. Denise has designed new midwifery and women's health curriculums, redesigned courses to be aligned with didactic courses, and turned many of these courses into hybrid online for format. She was also the project lead for the CU Nurse Midwifery Program National Accreditation through the American Board of Nurse uh, Midwifery Educators. Because of her dedication, the program was successfully accredited for 10 years. Congratulations, Denise. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> The Staff Luminary Award provides annual recognition to either a faculty or staff member of CU Nursing who takes the time to nurture and invest in CU Nursing employees. The recipient shows consistent exceptional efforts to take other CU Nursing employees under their wing, giving guidance and support for the betterment of a colleague's career. The Staff Luminary Award goes to Tracy Gray. Tracy was nominated by Amy Hester for consistently going above and beyond her normal job duties. She lends her expansive knowledge, leadership, and kindness to all, to all who come in contact with her. She is always willing to help any employee with anything they need. Tracy has solidified the onboarding and orientation process for new hires. She mentors several people at the college encouraging their per personal and professional development and has been on every committee that, the that you can volunteer for at the college. Tracy demonstrates exceptional customer service to both internal and external people at the college. Congratulations, Tracy. Thank you. The Rising Star Staff Award provides annual recognition for any staff member who demonstrates significant promise in the beginning two to five years of employment with CU Nursing of their career and exhibits outstanding contributions towards the mission of the College of Nursing. The Rising Staff Award goes to Hillary Hawker. Hillary was nominated by Amy Hester. Hillary's dedication and attention to detail has improved processes for HR and payroll. She is efficient and has taken on leadership roles within her department. Hillary is a great team member who provides a high level of customer service to everyone who contacts her. She supports the college and shows her creativity through being a member of the social group and staff governance council. Hillary has been an excellent advocate and voice for the college. Congratulations, Hillary. Thank you. All right. The Staff of the Year Award provides annual recognition for any staff member who has exceeded expectations in the areas of performance, dedication, competence, ability, professionalism, integrity, 
initiative, and enthusiasm. This award recognizes the individual for their accomplishments as a model of outstanding teamwork or leadership achievement and or in providing service excellence to the College of Nursing. The Staff of the Year Award goes to Sandra Tapasera Adams. Sandra was nominated by Shane Hoon because she is an incredibly detail-oriented, timely with her responses and always demonstrates respect and professionalism. She is the ultimate team player. Sandra is an active member of the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee and has served on Staff government, Governance Council. She has taken on extra work while her department is down one FTE this year without hesitation. Her professionalism and work ethic are unparalleled. Congratulations, Sandra. Thank you. Thank you so much. I have my tissue ready. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sandra. What, what an amazing list of award recipients. Thank you for your commitment to our college and to the nursing profession. Now we are going to present the Years of Service Awards. Tracy? Um, so I agree, amazing award recipients and yes. thank you again. Um, so I'm pretty excited. So we had a change in our recognition program last year um, where we switched to doing length of service based on your total CU service to just your College of Nursing service. Um, so we are actually going to give awards for 2019 and 2020 based on College of Nursing length of service. So we did give awards last year for 2019 based on total CU, but this is just about the College of Nursing, so I'm pretty excited. So I want to congratulate five years of service for the College of Nursing, Edith Butts, Emily Sheshire, Rodney Huddleston, China Hutchins, and Anna Pantheon. So those are our five years of service from last year. So. And then 15 years of service just to the College of Nursing, Bonnie Gantz Cleveland, and Ginny Pepper. And I don't know if they're on, but that is an amazing amount of service to the college and we appreciate you. For this year's 2020 college length of service, um, again, this is based on just service to the college in a regular faculty or staff award. We have an amazing number of five years. So to start off, Julianne Aronson, Nicole Broderick, Kate Campisi, Sarah Drexler, Christine Gauthier, Kelly Heinrichs, Lori Jackson, Suzanne Kiston, Fonta Kuhlman, Mary mackenberg Moan, Rosario Medina, and we also have Samantha Meering, Noreen Nickel, Teresa Nino, Priscilla Nodine, Ryan O'Connell, Brenda Owen, Mona Pearl Trayball, Michelle Porter, Glenda Robertson, and Barb Tucker. And I think that's a huge round of applause yeah. from all of Pretty amazing to have all of that. This year's 15 years length of service includes Jessica Anderson, Paul Cook, and Kate Kishorek. Let's give them around because 15 years is amazing. We also had 20 years of service to the college, including Erica Scherer and Jerry Steinke. Although I will point out she might have had a little bit more service. We are limited by the HR system that only goes back so far with Jerry. She had a few more years potentially. So, but I want to give them a round of applause too. And 25 years of service Ooh. to Joan Ward. Amazing. So I hope you guys will all join me in. All right, Joan Ward. So, do any of our length of service people want to say anything? I think I'll toss it back to Eli then. All right. Thank you, Tracy. Congrats to everyone. What an honor. In closing, I want to thank everyone for coming today to celebrate our college's achievements. Let us give everyone a virtual round of applause. Thank you so much. Please be safe, and I look forward to seeing you in person soon. Thank you, everyone.